What is up, guys? Welcome back to another wonderful episode of the By the Wayside Fantasy Show, brought to you by Deke from Thoughts from the Bench. Um, again, guys, By the Wayside Coffee, our amazing sponsor. Is that heck yeah? I twisted that right? Our amazing sponsor. Um, we'll drop their schedule out this week, but it is a coffee truck that gives their proceeds back to the veteran community. It is unbelievably awesome. They are great people. Couldn't be happier with this partnership. But for you this morning, let's get back into some fantasy news. First thing I'm gonna do is go over some people that are gonna be out. Plain and simple, guys. It's getting to that point of the season where it's gonna be bye weeks. It's gonna be injuries. Some of the injuries we have today, the big one for me still is Patrick Mahomes is still out with a dislocated knee, which we'll get to a little bit later, but I don't actually hate Matt Moore this weekend, guys. The next big one for me is that Trey Carson, the Detroit Lions running back that got the lion share of the work last week was put on IR, meaning that Ty Johnson is their only guy. They brought Paul Perkins up and signed another running back, but I don't believe either of them mean anything. Another big name out, T.Y. against the Pittsburgh Steelers, man, which is great news for us, because guess what? I don't love any of their receivers against our secondary. I do have a couple names that might be good flyers for the Colts later on, but without T.Y., Going to be tough to beat the Steelers. The name that screwed me the most this week being out, which I've gotten shares of in all of my leagues pretty much, is freaking Chris Herndon, man. He's still hurt. He had his four-game suspension or whichever it was. His hamstring injury flared up again. I mean, it's one of those things where it, it worries me against the Dolphins for Sam Darnold, which I hate to say that, but kind of does. Another big name for this week, Josh Flash Gordon. He is a Seattle Seahawk now, but he is still out, so he will not play this week. But if he is available in your league, it is worth a flyer if you have the bench spot, guys. So Lenny Walker's out as well for the Tennessee Titans. A solid tight end, but just injury has been killing him, man. With that switch to Ryan Tannehill, I actually like this offense a lot more than with Mariota. So when Walker gets back, I think he's going to be back to a solid top 10 tight end for you. Just not this week. And of course, near and dear to my heart, James Conner is doubtful this week. But I don't believe there's been a Pittsburgh Steeler that's played since they've been labeled doubtful since like the 90s so yeah james connor's out benny snell's out huge day for jalen samuels in my opinion and then edmonds get pushed up from the practice squad so possible huge day for him too some guys that are questionable that you have to watch the game time and guys there's a game in london this morning so i'll hopefully drop this video before so you can set your lineups but there's a game in london um that is against the uh jacksonville jaguars houston texans which brings me to dd westbrook i like dd westbrook's ability the problem here is that he might not see the field a lot today with his injuries. Questionable. Um, the Houston's have a terrible secondary, so if he does play, it's a really, really, really nice matchup. I just don't know if I can trust Didi right now with his injuries. Another name that's questionable is Adam Thielen against the Chiefs. Just monitor this one up to game time, because Thielen's the type of guy that doesn't really miss time. I think Adam Thielen will play today, and I think he'll have a decent game against a mid-tier Chiefs secondary. You just have to monitor it up until game time to make sure. The New England Patriots have a bunch of guys questionable right now. James White, Julian Edelman, and Rex Burkhead. For me, James White's going to play. I, it was a Friday, so a Friday questionable, so it gives me a little concern, but I think he'll be fine, and Julian Edelman will play just because he's a doll. Devontae Adams should be back this weekend. They're very optimistic that he'll be back against the Chargers. Another name that you have to monitor, though, guys, up until game time. They put it as questionable. I wouldn't be surprised if Devontae Adams doesn't play, but all signs are leading to him playing today. And the last one, Deshaun Jackson back for the Eagles. He has not played since week one. They have him ready to suit up. If he plays, I really like him with Carson Wentz. They have a really good rapport from week one. Uh, we'll see if they can live up to it. All right, guys, by week fill-in. I personally am starting Adrian Peterson against the Bills, and I know the Bills have a good front, but Chris Thompson's out for the Washington Redskins. Adrian Peterson should get a baseline of around nine points this week, just for workload alone. Another guy... I brought this up. If you're really in a pinch and these bye weeks are killing you and you have Drew Brees as quarterback or whatever it is, Matt Moore's not a bad fill-in. He's not sexy, but Andy Reid has a way to make his quarterbacks play well, even in Matt Moore. I'm also a big fan of John o. Smith, tight end for the Tennessee Titans. I loved him coming out of college. I thought he was a really good talent. He hasn't been able to do much because Delaney Walker's Delaney Walker, but with this injury, John o. has been good. Um, he's not going to, you know, get you 20 plus points probably this week, but a solid eight to 12 points is kind of what I need as a bye week filling with Chris Herndon out, Delaney Walker out, Vernon Davis out, and the rest of the tight end injuries we have. Another name that a lot of people are asking me about, and I get it, but it's Mark Walton for the Dolphins. He was very good for the Bengals and off the field issues aside, the man can run the football. It's just the fact that he's running behind the Dolphins offensive line. For me personally, him up against the Jets with the Jets not having Williams anymore. I don't, 
love the matchup and situation for him. But if you are in a bind, he's projected around 12 points this week. So he should at least get the workload to have the chance to score those points. A couple other guys to leave by the wayside. Any Packers receiver not named Devontae Adams. MSV and Jeronimo Allison have just been bad. MSV can, you know, get a 40-yard reception from Aaron Rodgers that might go for a touchdown, but he can also get you two points. And Geronimo Allison has just been bad. Just flat out bad. I'm leaving by the wayside today, guys. It's Sammy Watkins. A lot of people are starting him because they're excited to have him back, but Sammy Watkins has one problem, and that is Matt Moore. I know that I picked him to be a, a filler guy, but I'm, he's not going to be this quarterback that breaks open. Sammy Watkins is coming back from injury, and although he's a worldly talent, he's up against the Vikings, which are decent. And I just don't think this is the week to play Sammy Watkins. That was By the Wayside Fantasy Show, sponsored by By the Wayside Coffee. Go set those lineups. It is 7.30 right now. There's a game at 9.30. I sent a tweet out. Set those lineups, guys. You don't want to be the guy that goes in there and blah, 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 blah. Oh, I just didn't know that the clock's changed or something. All right, set the lineups, guys. We're all adults. Let's do this. If you need more fantasy advice, you know where to find me before kickoff. Go Steelers.